today I'm going to do a favourites video for you. I've seen quite a lot of other vloggers do these videos um, and I think it's a really good idea because I always do get asked um, kind of what are my favourite products that I've been using. So I'm going to go through my June favourites with you. Um, I'm going to start first off with skincare. Um, I attended a Nip and Fab blogger event a few weeks ago and ever since I've been trying out some of their products and I love them. So the first a few things I'm going to talk to you about is the Nip and Fab Glycolic Acid and the Glycolic Fix exfoliating pads. Um, I've been using these two products together. So first up I use the pads which is 60 in a tub. And you basically have the exfoliating side on one and then the more sort of moisturising soothing side on the other. So the exfoliating side has the glycolic acid on it um, and moisturises and then the other side has chazo and I think blue daisies on. So it soothes and kind of calms. So I've been using that after I've been cleansing and just I've really noticed the difference in my skin. Um, and then this is an overnight serum which I've applied um, once I took all my makeup off. Um, before I go to bed and put it on and I've just really noticed the difference it's supposed to minimize your pores and kind of unclog them as well and I really noticed that I had a lot of breakouts kind of here and it just really took them down my skin is really soft as well so from those two products um they also do a cleanser in the range so I've now got that to try um this one um I have used it once so far and I'm really impressed with it already because it is described as a foaming facial cleanser and I'm always put off from them because I feel like they're quite watery. Um, this in turn is not. It's got olive oil in it and it's actually quite like an oil cleanser which I've been loving using oil cleansers at the moment. Okay so the next thing is Nip and Fab again and it is the Body Slim Fix. Now this is a turn one body moisturiser and toning gel and it's got green coffee in it and it's part of their fitness range. I don't know if you've seen um, Millie McIntosh is now the face of Nip and Fab and she looks amazing. And if I want a body like hers, I guess I'm going to have to work out but this might help um, and I've been using it um, a lot when I come out of a hot shower and shrubbing it on my legs just to kind of keep them nice and looking toned and it just really, if anything, has a really nice feel and it smells gorgeous as well. So it's great for summer when you just pop on a dress and you, um, once you come out of the shower. It's perfect. Now I'm going to move on to my top hair picks for June. Um, basically, um, in the morning, now my hair is longer, I kind of am waking up a little bit like Russell Brand. Um, hopefully not for Danny's sake. but. Um, it's all kind of like really matted at the back of my head and I find it really knotted and hard to comb. So I was looking for a detangling spray and I bought this one in Boots um, a few weeks ago. It's the Lee Stafford one. So I have um, sprayed this on my hair just when it's damp before I dry it and I've really noticed a difference when I've tried to dry it. It's not as neat at all. It's really smooth, can run my brush through it and yeah, I'm just really, really impressed with that. Um, I've not seen many detangling sprays on the market um, when I was in Boots, I was looking for one, it was only this one and a Mark Hill one, um, but this one is awesome so I'd definitely recommend that. Um, my hair as well is going a little bit crazy I guess in the weather, um, it's hot, then it's rainy, then it's hot, then it's rainy, so it's going a little bit frizzy so I've been using this um, from Colour Wow, it's a one minute transformation styling cream and it's a bit of a quick fix basically. Um, if my hair, I've dried it and it's a bit frizzier than normal, I'll just pop this cream on. It's just like a really tiny little shoe, it's like squidgy cream. But it doesn't leave your hair like um, wet or anything like that. It just kind of dries in instantly and you can even like use the hair dryer to kind of restyle it, like which I'm trying to do. Um, if my hair, I'm not drying my hair that well. And it's really great, it sort of lasts all day, which is awesome. So yeah, that's the one minute styling cream. And then lastly, my hair product favourite is um, the Michael Van Clark Volumising Mousse. Um, I've been using his range um, ever since I went and got my hair cut there and it is awesome. It is so good. It's no gimmicks, it's nothing. It's actually designed to really help your hair and help it grow. Um, one of my favourite ones is the Volumising Mousse because I find mousse can be really sticky in my hair so I tend not to use it. Um, I also want to know volume now my hair is longer so I just put that in my hair before I dry it as well and it's not sticky, it's not horrible, it's lush and it smells so nice as well. So I definitely recommend checking out his products because they are very, very good. And lastly, I wanted to run by you a couple of my makeup faves. So first up we have um, the Rodile. 
um, glam stick. Now this product is awesome. I'm so excited about this product because it um, has a gorgeous packaging for one. So it looks really nice and really pink and it's the color blue. As you can see, it's so gorgeous. I've got it on. It's such a beautiful color and it smells amazing. It smells like coconut. Um, so try not to eat it, but um, yeah, so it's got coconut butter in it, um, cocoa butter, and it smells like coconut, and it's got hyaluronic acid in it too, so it gives you that nice plumping effect. Um, it's just such a great lipstick. It'd be so good to take on holiday. Lovely colour. I really want to get it in another few colours, but um, yeah, so check out the Rodal Glam Sticks. My last product I want to share with you is, you've probably seen it advertised, it's the Benefit their real push-up liner. Um, I got this when I went to a benefit event um, and it was in a goodie bag, so I was excited to try it because it wasn't out yet. Um, as you can see, I've got it on as well. Um, it's just really easy to draw a line. I mean, I never really verge from my Rimmel eyeliner because it's just the easiest one I've ever found. But this, I really, really, really like it. So, um, reasons I like it, one, because it stays on all day and my normal one doesn't. Two, it is so easy for doing flicks because it's got like a pointed bit here so you can kind of angle it like that and it creates the perfect angled flick. And also because there's gel as well, again, it stays on long. So that brings me to the end of my June favourites. I hope you've enjoyed watching the video. I'm going to be doing this hopefully every month now. And basically, um, join me next time for more favourites, more videos, more beauty products, more things from the PO Diaries. So subscribe at the top and I will see you at the next vlog.